Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome back to Pathfinder Adventures Rise of the Rune Lords. Alright guys, we are on the third scenario of the Skinsaw Murders. Foul misgivings. Um, the villain is the Skinsaw Man. The henchmen are haunts. Now this is gonna be interesting. <clears throat> this is gonna be a little bit of a different scenario because when you when you encounter a haunt, roll wait. When you encounter a haunt, roll 1d6, it should be a comma there, and add the number of haunts that have been set aside. If the result is five or more, summon and encounter the villain Aisha Foxglove. So these haunts, I think we don't fight them as normal things. So we'll see in a minute. This, this should be a very interesting scenario though. I, I think it's a tough one too, if I, if I remember correctly. Foxglove Manor has fallen far for, from Seren Ray's warm embrace. Perhaps I'll introduce myself. I'll only draw steel if they do it first. I promise. Alright, during the center, when you kind of haunt, roll 1d6 and add the number of haunts that have been set aside. If the result of five or more, someone encounter the villain Aisha Fox Club. So we kind of don't want to summon and encounter Aisha Fox Club. We kind of want to avoid that. Um, cause she's probably really tough. Alright, so the main villain, this is who we need to defeat, is the Skinsaw Man. He's an undead rogue ghast, combat of 14, then a combat of 16, so you gotta fight him twice. Immune to mental and poison. If there are no characters at your location, the difficulty of checks to defeat the Skinsaw Man is increased by 1d4. Um, if undefeated, end your turn. So, I think, so ideally what we want to do is try to have the fighter and the rogue fighting him together at once so here are the haunts oh they're cool looking so notice no check to defeat the haunt may not be evaded the haunt is set aside so when you encounter them you automatically encounter them and they get set aside for each haunt you encountered the difficulty of your checks is increased by one at the end of the scenario banish all haunts after you encounter the haunt you may immediately attempt to close the location this henchman came from so um, the one easy thing is that as soon as we encounter these guys, they're automatically defeated and we get a chance to close the location. However, the the character encounters this, he's going to have a minus one penalty to all his checks for the rest of this scenario. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's, <laughs> that's kind of bad. <clears throat> so let's see. What we got here. So we got a prison here. You may attempt a dexterity or disable a check in, in place of the usual check to acquire a boon. Succeed a charisma or diplomacy six check to close this. So that could possibly be the fighter. Um, although there's two barriers there. We have the farmhouse. Someone defeat a random monster. That could be anybody. The warrant. Whenever you count a monster, a random monster is placed on top of another random open location deck. Succeed. So that would be the rogue, but we don't want to go there at all if we can help it. The manor. Reveal the ally Aldern Foxglove to banish all haunts that have been set aside. It'd be nice if we had them. I think we had a chance at acquiring them before. Um, succeed in Intelligence or Arcane 8 to close this. So that sounds like it'd be him. Deeper Dungeons. The difficult combat check is increased by 1. Succeed a Constitution or Fortitude 8 check. That seems like something that she would be a little bit better at and then we have the academy at the uh on the first experience of your turn if you encounter anything other than a spell i'll have to explain you may, may experience see an intelligence or a king six check um <clears throat> i'm closing your shift so actually we want the wizard to go here first uh the wizard will go here later um what's his what's the fighter's fortitude i don't think it's actually really good constitution d8 Hmm. What's her charisma? It's only a D6. <coughs> charisma 6. Constitution 8. You know, I'm still dealing with sickness from the, the whole all of last week. <coughs> and every time I get a cold, I just get this lingering cough. So I have to keep popping cough drops and it just won't go away. And of course, talking into a mic aggravates it 
So we need to make a decision here. Well, Warrens we don't want to go to yet. Fox Gov Manor we don't want to go to yet. So those are the two we don't want to do. So uh, Rogue, I guess we'll go to the farmhouse. Hmm. What's the Rogue's constitution fortitude? I don't think it's good. D6, not good. All right. I'm a bit afraid of the the of her down in there. What's her charisma. Who has the best charisma? It's the fighter. Hmm. Alternatively, maybe we just stick together and just both of us drill down in here. The thing I'm scared of is that if she closes it, then... Hmm. Or, maybe we do it this way. We both go here. Let's do that. <clears throat> Let's do that. Fox Glove Manor. We'll try to keep the rogue and the, uh, the fighter and the cleric together. All right, um, spyglass now or later? I kind of feel like doing it now. Just in case we get super lucky and find the... No, let's just explore. It's a haunt. Okay. So, so much for that. Oh, something happens. Oh, that is cool, man. Your mother wields a torch while your father, festering with tumors, wields a long knife. You know that your parents are struggling to kill each other. That whichever of them survives will be coming to kill you next. In an instant, the vision passes, but the fear remains. That is so cool. So we saw a <clears throat> roll on a five or more summon and encounter the encounter Aisha Foxglove. Oh, wow. Okay. Close location. A yes. Goblin Commando is going to shoot me, but I have a hide armor for that. All right. I can recharge this to reduce that. Right, right, right. So we'll do that. And the combat will uh, light crossbow him. 84% chance. I think we're going to go ahead and backstab. We'll recharge the Sage's Journal. 98% chance. I'm good with that. Bye, Goblin. Alright, awesome. First turn of closing the location. Nice. That's a good start. All right, so the fighters at the Deeper Dungeons. Um, no, nothing to it but to do. Is there anything that anybody wants to do before we explore? No. All right. He finds a mirror image. Well, he cares not for that, nor does my wizard. So I acquire it, though. Uh, we are going to... Let's spend a blessing and go again. I kind of do. I'd rather the fighter take extra turns here. So, oop. A large chest. Um, it gives us 1d4 weapons, which is not bad. We want to get some weapons. 85% chance. What's my chance otherwise? 40. Alpha craft, no. What happens if I do improve guidance? Makes a 70% chance, and that's actually. Uh, you know what? I feel a little bit better with that. It's a lesser chance, but we get to recharge. Or we can attempt to recharge the improved guide. Oh, we do. It's 100%. Bam. Nice. So that worked out good. Um, Roll to get weapons. Got three weapons. Who would you get? Crap. Really? Really? This is the crap that they give us? Alright, we're gonna discard stuff. We're gonna discard this mirror image. 
and blow all of these. All of these. A long speed. I don't care. I don't care about those. Um, I will keep the rest. Bam. Palagina. Yeah. Um, do we detect magic here? No, we're going to explore first. Fiery Bolt. For your comment check, discard this card and use the Arcane plus three. Oh my god. <clears throat> your Arcane skill plus 3d6. 75% chance. I want this for sure. Um, favor of the gods, man. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost failed that. But we'll take that. We'll explore now. Uh, an 8 spell. This is actually pretty good for the... It's pretty good spell. Um, hmm. But not super worth going out of war way for so. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna detect magic. A fiery bolt. Hmm. <laughs> uh, we're gonna counter that. I'll recharge detect magic. I can reveal this just because I can. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card. Or hope to try to anyway. Alright, go. Alright, well we have a hundred percent oh, here's a recharge. I want this fiery bolt. Absolutely want it. I'm gonna spend this. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, well I could discard something or just recharge her. Oh, I can't recharge her. Well oh no, I'll use the augury. That's what that was my plan. Um Do we want a monster? Or a spell? I'll go for a spell. It's early in the it's early in the game. <clears throat> There's Alright, those get shuffled. Lead blades. Uh discard this card to add one D10 to a combat trick using a weapon that has a slash tray after blah 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 blah. That's uh, not special. Alright, well. I could have put that at the bottom, couldn't I? We recharge the orb. Um let's do this. Oh, we know what that was. I don't think we needed to do that, right? <laughs> Alright, no, that worked out, though. Um, we could use Palagina to go again, but I don't think that's a good use of it right now, so... I'd rather recharge Palagina if we... we yeah. A zombie giant, it's undead. Oh, great. Oh, great. Um, yeah, I guess I smash him with a Warhammer plus two, 99% chance. Crush. All right, uh, no way to go again, so we'll just end our turn here. What's in my discard pile? I don't mind using the staff for minor healing here to get that back. Now, we've closed, closed this place down. I don't want to go over there. Where are the set-aside haunts? It does count as a monster. So if we encounter it over there, it triggers the effect. Oh, what to do here? This is an intelligence arcane. This is charisma. I'm not good at it, but not impossible. I don't want to go to the Warrens yet. So... Although at the Warrens, I can, I can ev evade monsters, but we kind of don't want to do that. Um, so I think we will just go over here to the prison. And I will explore first a Warlord. Oh, we're gonna do that. Uh, we'll backstab. 
recharge the healing poultice. That only makes it 79, though. Hmm. How do I feel about that? How do I feel about that? That's pretty good. Just barely. Oh, God. That could have been terrible. All right, and now we're going to spyglass. And look at the top two. So that's why I usually like to use the spyglass after we do our explore because then we've looked at more cards in the given deck. Because I could have done this first and looked at two cards and then encounter one of them, the one that I want. But then we're only looking at two cards in the deck. This way, by exploring and then using it, we've gone through three cards. It's the way I like to do it. The benefit of doing it the other way, other way, is that you can be sure of what you're encountering. <clears throat> All right, arrange the cards in any order. So there's a monster or a trapped locker. If defeated, draw a random new armor. I'd rather leave that on top. Yeah, we're going to draw cards. There's a good chance we'll draw something that we need for that. All right, that's the turn. Thieves tools, perfect. All right, uh, the fighter... I kind of don't want to use Palagina, so we'll just encounter a skeleton. I will Lucerne hammer him. I can just reveal it. But there's no re re reason to. I can. I just want to do that. That makes it 97. Uh, yeah. Bam. Crush. Uh, we will recharge that. And... I kind of feel like recharging her, but... I can see no reason... Uh, let's do that. Um, oh, actually. We could do it to the cleric as well. Let's so give her back the favor of the gods. I kind of like that. So we'll recharge Palagina. She gets her favor of the gods back. And then this guy could spend the favor of Gorum to go again. You know, I'm kind of okay doing that because. Although, hmm. No, I want to keep that in my hand. <clears throat> I want to keep that in the hand for when the if if we can set it up so that the cleric fights the bad guy that that would be useful. All right, let's examine here before we go. That's the lead blades. All right, well, mm, examine. Uh, Ninety-one percent chance to acquire that. Recharge. Choose a character location. Uh, no. All right, well, roll. Oh, we didn't get it, really. We suck. Uh, I don't want to discard Palagini. We don't have any other way to heal with our deck, right? No. So. <clears throat> wow, I think we just passed the turn here. Not doing well there. Alright. Let's... Let's keep going right now. Monster in the closet. Uh, it's a wisdom perception. Um, if you succeed, summon, and if you do not defeat the guy, so if we, all right, so we've got basically two checks to do here. Um, this is a 40%, god damn it, 40% chance, um, on combat dexterity, dexterity. Intelligence. Melee of Fortitude. Uh, Alright, I guess... I guess I'll, I'll use my own. 85% chance. I don't want to spend more cards than that, so... Good enough. So we found the monster in the closet. Summon... Wait, if you succeed, summon encounter the Goblin Raider henchman. If you do not defeat the Goblin Raider, the monster's closet is undefeated. So we have to... We gotta do it. All right, I will. Is there any reason why I want to use this over the other one? That's 98, 99. 
so we'll go that way. Favor Calistria. There's no barrier here, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard it to go again. Plague Zombie! I'm okay cracking you over the head with that. Bam. Getting lucky with Undead showing up. And that is it for our turn. A cure. I forgot we had that. <clears throat> Let's examine here. We know there's a trap lock and we have a thief's tools. Um, I can spend this blessing of Yori to go again and then fight the Goga Zulgath. All right, I'm cool with that. So let's go. Trap locker. Let us review that. 93% chance. Draw ran. Oh, locksmith leather. What is this? Recharge character at 1d6 to your disable check and recharges to reduce combat damage to by one. Ooh. Well. Alright, we're gonna. We said we're gonna use the blessing of his Iori to go again. <clears throat> and we're gonna fight this guy. Before I put a card on top of your deck. <gasps> really? Put the thieves' tools. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and reveal that. Uh, we're gonna backstab. There's another barrier still left in here, so I probably. Well, I'm gonna draw the thieves too, so we'll backstab. We'll go ahead and recharge the locksmith leather. 98% chance. Feels good to me, and even better when it works. Alright, he's done. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the sorry to look at what the next card is. Chameleon. What does he do? Bury this card to evade your encounter. Discard this card to explore your location. Charisma, diplomacy. Well, we probably won't, won't be able to get it, but he's there. All right, roll to see if we encounter a bad thing. We don't. I forgot. We are affected by the haunt. All right, draw some cards and end the turn. <clears throat> okay, uh, we're at... We've gone through 10 turns and only closed one location, so that's not great. We got we got to do something here, but not much else other than keep, keep drilling down. A quarter staff plus two is nice. Oh, hundred percent chance. That's good for a wizard. Hey, that's nice. I like that. Uh, I need to go. I need to go again. I'm gonna discard this to explore location. Yeah. We got it. We got to do these. Another haunt. Dozens of memories of expeditions, sea voyages, and travels to exotic locales race through your mind. As the memories build momentum, they become increasingly infused with a sense of bitter disappointment and regret. You now know that, well, you know now that you are experiencing memories that never were. Memories of fantastic discoveries you could have made had you not chosen to settle down with a shrill harpy of a wife. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. All right, roll, and we might encounter Aisha Fox Club. We freaking. <clears throat> She's scary. Look at that face. All right, Aisha is immune to the mental and poison traits. If the check to defeat Aisha does not have the magic trait, she's undefeated. If defeated, choose a location deck and search it for the villain, the skin soul henchman. If you find him, set him aside, shuffle the rest of the deck and put him on either the top or bottom of that deck. If you encounter the skin soul, if you encounter the skin soul man this turn, the difficulty of all checks against him is it decreased by five. Oh wow, so she actually helps us out. But she's a charisma diplomacy to defeat. Oh no. Oh no. How do you have M What? Well she's summoned, so it doesn't matter if she's a, a defeated. All right, well, let's see what happens. <clears throat> oh my gosh, she's scary. A woman sits in front of a mirror, transfixed and sobbing. You recognize her as Aisha Foxglove from the portraits throughout the manor. 
you can't help but reach out to touch the mirror. As soon as you do, she stands and unleashes a baleful shriek. Oh darn, I can smell your fear. You'll be in my arms soon. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Diplomacy, which he's actually verse versed in. Alright. Oof, we need stuff. Melee of fortitude. What is this here? Arcane or knowledge. Not helpful. This is Nephis. We don't have a Nephis. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, we wanna, we wanna, we wanna, we wanna, wanna. I have a 0% Oh my god. Even if... Holy shit. Well, if I discard this... 2% chance. And this... 37% chance. Is that as good as we can make it? Why does that make it much better? Tiny combat dexterity. 37. Oh, it's counting his. Um... Damn, that is not good odds. But I cannot make it any better. <clears throat> I can't make it any better. Um, what happens if I fail? I'm going to lose all my weapons, aren't I? Alright, well. It's no way you knew. 3d6. 3, 6, 3, 6, 9. T 11 is our average. So, we're going to fail here. Oh, so close. Discard two. Well, we'll discard this quarter step plus two. And I guess the great club. Oh, we'll get rid of the shock wave, I guess. Actually, that's the discard the great club. Damn. Close the location? Sure. I have a zero percent chance? What? Alright, well, we gotta do this. 31% chance. This is fucking. <laughs> Hold on a second. Which is better? 56% or 31? Why did it default to that one? We want this one. Go with the 56% chance. Alright, that's all we can do. At least. At least that. At least that. Alright, the fighter's hurt. <clears throat> Alright, this guy's still doing this academy. Trapped passageway. If defeated, you immediately explore again. If undefeated, you are dealt 2d4 combat damage. I can evade that and go again and explore again. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. I guess we are because that is a tough one to pass. So, yeah. It does go back in there, but we'll go ahead and explore again. And there's a haunt. The temperature in the room drops dramatically. Breath frosts in the air and lingers. Uh, uh, fingers of rhyme slither across the walls. Portraits depict figures suddenly shifting from paintings of living people to those of dead folk. A mother and daughter slump into misshapen, tumor-ridden corpses. A proud, vibrant young man grows pale as a long cut opens in his throat and blood washes down over his chest. His wife blackens in chars. Her arms, legs, and back twist as if broken in dozens of places. A portrait of Aldern warps as his flesh darkens with rot. His hair falls out and he deforms into a ghoul-like monster. An older portrait of a distinguished and grave-looking gentleman erupts into a sudden explosion of fungus and tumorous growth. This wave of fungus and disease washes over the entire room in seconds before the room suddenly reverts to normal. 
Oof. Those things are creepy, man. Alright. <clears throat> Fuck. She comes out again. She comes out again. What do we do? Add two to my divine check. That is not that helpful. She's a pain in the ass. If I discard it, it's still impossible. So, we're going to take a bunch of damage here. Oh, this sucks, man. This sucks. Discard, the, oh, oh, discard all our cards. Ouch. Ouch. That really sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Close location. I mean, yes. 83% chance. We got it. So, we got that going for us. Uh, you may shuffle a spell. Hey! Thank goodness for small miracles. We'll take fire bolt, I guess. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta stay, take stock here. Alright, we've closed... Three locations out of six. We've got 18 turns. Um, but we kind of need to regroup here. All right. Who is really bad in bad shape? The fighter and the wizard. All right. Let's look here. Let's do cure on a fighter before we move on. Come on. Give me. Eh, it's not that good. 70% chance. Please recharge. Alright. We got that. Okay, now. <clears throat> we gotta find this guy. Um. What's her intelligence? Her intelligence is a D6. Uh, which means she's not good. She can't close that location easily. Oh, man. Where do we go? Where do we go? I mean, we can go to the prison and help the rogue, but the rogue likes to be alone, really. Hmm. What the hell are we going to do, man? Ugh. <sighs> We need to we need to do better with our charisma checks. That's the problem. Um do I want to give a weapon? Give a card rather. No. I have no idea what I want to do here. I guess the Foxglove Manor is the most likely choice. Yeah, I'll go there and then meet up with the Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's do that. We'll go, we'll go to the manor because I'm going there with the wizard and then she can heal the wizard. So, we'll, uh, we find a portable ram. I may or may not get it. That helps us get through stuff with the obstacle trait. Um, but I think I'm just going to discard that. It could be useful, but I'm gonna do this, and I'm actually gonna recharge this. We need we need some blessings, man. All right, I think we're good here. Okay. Um, let's look at the next card. It's chameleon. All right. Um, we gotta try to close this place down. So, boop boom. Um, nothing we can do here. We just fail, right? All right. It's fine. It's fine. Let's use Isori. The guard. Not gonna get him. We're not gonna get him. Alright. <clears throat> Things are not looking good for us. That's for sure. Alright. We just passed the turn at that point. Alright. The fighter... Is gonna go over here to the prison with the now even though the rogue likes to be alone the fighter is about the only person that is fine she's fine going with her 
because he gives her a d4 to her combat checks, which makes up for not having the backstab. All right, uh, we'll go for the guard here. 50% chance to succeed. Oh, I could have been doing that, couldn't I? All right, well, we get the guard. Oh, I can't use him to go again, though. Son of a bitch. That's perception. Alright. Go to the discard, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna keep you, and you're gonna go away. Although, no. This is a recharge, right? Get rid of the crowbar. Alright, uh, we are done with our turn. Alright, this guy is coming over here. So, we'll go there. Boop. We've got a couple of auguries. <clears throat> hmm. Do I auger? We've got 15 rounds. 15 rounds, and we got to close... Three locations. One is halfway done, one is untouched, and this one might as well be untouched. So, we're still fighting for time. So I want to auger, I guess I want to auger for monsters. Although if I, what's his ability here? If you acquire a card that's magic, you can immediately explore again. That's actually really nice. So let's auger first. <coughs> and go for magic. Or spell, rather. Nope, didn't find it. So everything gets shuffled, I think. Right? Yeah. We'll recharge the armory. Let's uh, draw a card here. Nope. We do not draw a card. Alright, 80% chance. We'll roll it straight up. 11. 17. Recharge. Explore. Yes, hound. Yes. Yes, you are a hound. Um, I don't care about the wisdom check. Just means it's harder. Uh, wait. Oh, it's her that's. Ooh. Oh. What's happening? Hold on a second. What's happening here? Oh, each character location was Cecita was in check. Oh, okay. I was confused. Alright. Um, is lightning touch enough? 89%. Hmm. What the fuck is that? 91 only? Really? Hold on a second. A D10 plus 1. 2D4. So that's interesting. 89. Oh no, this is better. 91. Okay, it's it is better. I'm an idiot. All right, we'll go with the higher percentage. I just want to make sure we can keep that. Recharge acid arrow. We, we don't want to miss. Oh, stupid, 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 stupid. Always do that. Got it. Uh, I'm going to do another augury. Uh, this time we're going to search for monster. Sir, actually, put him on the bottom. Recharge augury. This is such a good spell. Oh, I keep doing that. Alright, 75% chance. It's not good. But I don't feel like... I don't feel like uh, spending stuff, so... I'm okay if we fail. But we did not! We did not. All right, excellent. All right, done with the turn. I guess that was an okay turn. I want to keep this improved guidance in case we find uh, we meet up with Aisha again. A horse chopper. D10 plus one. This is just okay. Is that worth going all out for? Yeah, it's fine. Go away. Favor the gods. I'm not going to do that. 
as much as I'd like to. Six more here. Blacksmith's son. Constitution check. I can discard this to just avoid you. Recharge that. 66% chance. Uh, I'm okay rolling it straight up. Got it. Um, and we get to explore again? Yes. Yes, please. Oh, uh, Verwolf. To 17. Alright, let's recharge this. It's not that great. Um... Hmm. 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 I've used up a bunch of blessings. Running out. Running out. But failing here is also very ungood. It's very ungood. So uh, we gotta do. It. We gotta. We gotta spend. 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 Hey, what? Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? No, yeah. What the hell? 99. Or 57. No, we want 99. That's much better. There we go. Did I even need to do that? But, alright. Isori, show me what you find. Go we'll search. Masterwork tools! <gasps> I want this. I want this. Fighter, you're gonna frick this up. Damn it. I want that. I really, really want that. Alright, if the fighter does not go there, what do we do with him instead? I don't want to mess with that. I want those two, these tools. Seven cards there. Do I dare go over here by myself? Damn, but if I... Thing is, if I encounter a haunt, it's really bad. If I encounter any monster, it's really bad. There's a bunch of other... Oh. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna take a chance. We're gonna take a chance. Standard bearer. But I could. Well, I mean, I get him. I did get him. I think it's worth it. Screw it. Go again. Superior longsword. It's not super useful, but we'll take it. I guess. And I can't use either of these guys to go again, right? Alright, we'll go to the discard. We'll get rid of that. I think I'm okay keeping the rest of these guys. Yeah. Alright. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. It's getting it's getting tight now. What's here? Alright, it's just goblin at the bottom. Flare burst is not... Super useful. Um, let's explore now. That is useful. This has the magic trait, so I kind of want to get this. But I'm not going to spend extra resources to get it. Come on! Oh, I needed that! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta do this. And if only that goes away. That's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I really don't want this spell in my hand. But we may need it <clears throat> for coming combats. We got plenty of... Alright. We'll end our turn. Alright, here. What do we got going on? Let's just examine. Is there anywhere else she wants to be? Did we still need to heal the wizard? We kind of did, but... <clears throat> if something happens that he loses all his cards in his hand... 
he still has car he can still drop and live and he's got this medallion to protect him so i don't think we're gonna heal i think we're just gonna go ahead and kick down the door and find an invisibility that we don't care for so we're just gonna acquire it because reasons um i am not gonna use that favor the oh god i feel like doing it though but well, favor of the gods has two dice to it oh it adds one dice to any check Oh, but we can play another blessing on the check. That's the, that's the trick with it. We got it. We got to do it. I think we got to do this. This feels bad, but we're so behind on turns. Damn it! A haunt. A piano explodes into music, playing a catchy but discordant Varisian song. You are swept into a series of rapidly increasing pirouettes, leaping across the room in the arms of an invisible dance partner. Her beauty is vibrant. Gradually, her beauty fades as her neck darkens into an angry blue and black bruise. Her eyes bulge in water, her mouth twists in pain, and her tongue protrudes as if she were being invisibly strangled. She crumbles away into rot into in your arms. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, we gotta encounter Aisha. Of course we do. Of course we do. Encounter or evade? Well, wait. We can actually evade her? Why? Mm, why is this saying we can't evade her? If defeat her? I guess we could choose not to fight her. But. Chris, oh, divine. We could. Oh, hold on. We can do this. We can do this. If we're going to go ahead and. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, really? Nobody has anything else to help me with this? Why do you guys suck? Hmm. If I do this... If I use this improved gu guidance, then I have no chance at closing the location. Unless I'm reading it wrong. I don't remember if... You know what? Where is the... Ah... Uh, okay, I'm, I was looking for... I was looking for the... Um, see if I can get the manual. I don't remember if another player can close the location. No, I think I would have to close it. So we're going to roll this straight up. <clears throat> and hope we make it. We did it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Choose a location to examine. Uh, I'm gonna make it be this one here Right, let's see She's okay search for the villain if you find him set him aside shuffle the rest of the deck put it either on the top or bottom of that deck if you encounter it again this turn so Yeah, we'll, we'll search that deck No, there was a haunt there Okay so he's not there. Close location. Damn it. F3. Can he attempt to close it? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say yes. Oh man, only a 16% chance. It's only two cards left in the deck, though. Look at that! Come on, baby! Why would you hurt me so bad? Ah! Damn it! Damn it, damn it. There's only two cards left there, but still. <clears throat> We've only got nine turns left. Let's examine here. There's a Thief's Tools, or Masterwork Tools. Alright, so, we know Dexterity... So the... Shit, 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 shit. The Rogue has to go over there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We need to station the rogue by the Warrens. Which means the boss has to either be here or in the prison. So the fighter and the the fighter and the rogue have to switch places. 
But I want to. I, I, I want to get this. I want to get this. This is just so very good. Good. Good for us. Um. Hmm. There's a chance I might fail. I thought I was a little bit better at that. Damn it. Why? All right. We'll, we'll use him to see. Black cloth armor. What is that? Uh, if you are the only character location, we did tap one to your combat check. Banish this to reduce all damage done to you by one. For sure. Ooh, that's good too. But the fighter can is can pick that up easier than me. All right. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. All right. <clears throat> Is there a reason I want to recharge this? I have an amulet of life. Let's uh, go to the discard phase and recharge this. Keep the rest. Alright, so the fighter... What's everybody else is going to do? The fighter is going to move over here. So sometimes if you think that you're not going to be able to complete a scenario, it's still good to kind of uh, explore and try to acquire as many things as possible and make your next only a 25% chance to do that. Really? Really? I thought you were a bit better than that. That's a high number. Well, damn, nobody can help him with it either. All right, well, guess we're not getting it. That's that would have been nice. Um, I can't go again. I don't think we're ready to try to meet the bad guy yet, so. Okay, here's the thought. If the bad guy is in here, then we fight him. He possibly runs away over there. <clears throat> he possibly runs away over there. So we absolutely need to keep him from running to the Warrens. The only way to do that is to make sure that the rogue is over there. Which means we spend two turns of not doing anything. Conversely, he may not be here. <sighs> Damn it. We've also got one card to look at over here. He could be the very last one. We know there's a goblin warrior at the bottom here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The boss is not here. He's not here. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. So the boss isn't here. So the boss is at the prison. He's the next card. We figured it out. All right. The boss is at the prison. Okay. That makes things a whole lot different. So I think the wizard can close. Let's look at the fighter. He's ready to fight twice. So is the rogue. Okay. So. Oh, but. Hmm. Charisma sucks. All right. Whose turn is it? It's the. It's the. It's him. He can go in here and try to close this. He's the one with shitty dexterity, right? And her dexterity isn't that much, but oh, she's even worse. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think we're going to still close this. So let's go for it. What am I doing? Did I go, go already? I think I went already. Huh. So we know the next... Okay. All right, this is fine. We're just ending our turn? Yeah, I can't...
can't go again. Wait a minute. It's the beginning of our turn. I give a card. Do you want to give a card? Why can't I explore? I don't want to give a card. Is there any, anything we want to give? No. Go, go to this. No. I can't explore here? That's strange. She can explore. Did I go already? Did I, I must. Have, I must have explored. So this is a blessing, and then, all right, we get that. We'll use it to go again. Fight this guy. Um. We'll reveal this. Ninety percent chance. Sure. Oh, actually, I should have. Stupid asshole that I am. Oh, God damn it. I'm a dumb ass. I'm a dumb ass. Dumb ass. Alright, we know he's here. So, Rogue needs to go here to close this off. And, Rogue, you're not gonna do anything. Could use the sorry, I guess. There's a haunt there. <laughs> um. Well, I might as well shuffle that away. There's no no need to bring it there. Although, had I encountered that haunt. I should encounter the haunt. I would have closed this place, wouldn't I? But then I would have had to deal with uh, Aisha. All right, we're going to go to the discard phase. All right, we're trying to set this up to beat the beat the boss. So right now it looks like the fighter is the one that's gonna do it. So I'm gonna keep these. I think we're gonna discard this and this. And hope we draw some blessings. Do not. Crap. We got one. We got one blessing. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's take a look at everything here. She's guarding that. Everything else is closed. These guys should be able to close this. Oh, I should have discarded cards over here. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. We got a flare burst though. This is only for one check though, right? Oh no, it lasts for the turn. We gotta do we gotta do it. We only have four turns. We only have four turns. So if I don't do it, the wizard could potentially do it. He's got one fiery bolt though. Hmm. If I don't do it here, this is four, three, two, one. So it's either it's one of these three have to do it. <clears throat> the fighter, I think he has a really good chance. He can discard both these weapons. The thing, and then the the rogue can help out with each check. And s yeah, I, I think this is this this is what we're gonna do. So much. There are no roads increase difficulty. One. That's gonna happen, I think, on each check, isn't it? Alright. Nethrin, you live well and good. For now, I shall have the reward of tasting your heart while it is yet warm. This mastication will not eventuate. You know you will not emerge victorious from this fight. <laughs> he drops to his knees, sobbing. Save me! I'll tell you anything. Don't let the hunter come again. It's with Zanisha and the brothers of the Seven in Magnemar. They made me do it. I owe them so much. 
Suddenly, a wide grin explodes across his face. He stands slowly and bows. I wonder how your death shall affect your friends. That what things might you have done that will go unfinished? What will those unbroken promises spawn? How will your murder shape the world? I don't know what voice that was that I came up with him. All right, uh, she's got to close this. She has to close this. Um, I have to use this. Wait a minute. Is that location closed? Foxglove Manor is not closed. It's not closed. We don't have anything to boost it. I have to roll this, but... Oh, no. Hold on a second. Am I going crazy or... Yeah, it's not closed. Shit. We're, we're gonna use this because I just thought about this if I Fail here and the boss runs here. We'll never get to him in time if he runs to Foxglove Manor We have a shot at getting him All right, we got to close this location Temporary close yes 66% chance God, heart of the cards, heart of the cards, heart of the cards. Got it. All right, finish closing. <clears throat> All right, the shock glaive is the weaker of my two, right? So I will throw the shock glaive at him. 89% chance. We're gonna discard that, make it 97. Flare burst 99. Got him with that. Recharge that. Alright, his difficulty increases again. Well, of course, he's gonna be by four. Lucerne hammer, we'll throw that at him. He's got. She's gonna ping him with that. 92% chance we could fail. We could fail, but we've got some backup. We have a backup plan. All right, let's do it. Got him. All right. Uh. <clears throat> There's a letter here from Zanisha. Adern, you have served us quite well. The delivery you harvested from the caverns far exceeds what I had hoped for. You may consider your debt to the brothers paid in full. Yet, I still have need of you, and when you awaken from your death, you should find your mind clear and able to understand this task more than in the state you are in as I write this. You remember the workings of the Sahedron ritual, I trust? You seemed quite lucid at the time, but if you find after your rebirth that you have forgotten, return to your townhouse in Magnemar. I will provide the list of proper victims for the Sahedron ritual in two days' time. The ones I have selected must be marked before they die, otherwise they do my master no good and the greed in their souls will go to waste. Hmm, I'll miss Sandpoint, but there is sure to be more to offer in Magnamar. Alright, I guess we're heading off to a new place. Alright, victory in this uh, long uh, episode. That was, that was kind of tough. Uh, we got a skill feat. Alright, well. I think we're still going to go with... I use your dexterity. We have a severe deficiency in charisma, though. But it really doesn't come up that often, but... <clears throat> Alright. Uh, fighter. I think you're just gonna just be better at fighting. Damn. We do this. We 
diplomacy. Nah. I just rather him be better at what he's good at. Um, same thing. Be better at what you're good at. Yep. Be better at what you're good at. Hmm. I'm really tempted at upping the, the charisma, but you know, we fight more often than we do charisma stuff, so you know it is what it is. Alright. We will confirm these choices. Alright, time to do this. Alright, this stays the same. No spell. Uh this locksmith armor. I don't know if I like it better than it's nice, but I still think I like the this armor better. Although I'm really thinking now the a shield. But this is only combat damage. I mean the shield of fire resistance is, is kinda nice. Hmm. No, but I like having a, a, a block all damage armor with her. Alright, boom. Uh, this is fine, fine, fine. Uh, fighter. It's got like a bunch of stuff here that we're getting rid of. Order staff plus two is good to see. We got a spell with him. We don't need that. Uh, we're good. Actually. Nah. Uh, we don't need these guys. Finally, we upgrade our quarter staff to a plus two quarter staff spells. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, arcane armor only helps against combat damage. I'd rather just not have to. Let's get rid of a lightning touch. I like having those auguries, man. Maybe we get rid of a uh, the tech magic is real nice. It, it it gives us a chance at going again, but nah, all is just so much better. I would rather be sure we have some fire. Oh, actually, hold on. We can either take a do we take a detect magic or a mirror image? Mirror image is actually kind of nice for when we're in big trouble, but. Yeah, I like I, I like being able to scout decks. So yeah. Uh oh, he's short an item. Why didn't that happen? Did we have to banish an item at some point? Don't remember that happening. But I guess it happened, so um we're good here. Yeah. Oh this, wait, hold on, this is the cleric. Uh, I could use this is magic this is magic this is a d10 this is only a d6 this is a downgrade but it is magical which is kind of important although I think most of those enemies that require that are undead so we're probably fine so I think we're okay there spells we don't need invisibility invisibility evade a monster succeed a stealth nah. Armor. I still like the volcanic shield. This is a reveal, and so is that. All right. Uh, items. We don't need the portable ram. This lets me defeat a bar. That's the lock obstacle trait. All right. Um. I still like having the squire, and we got a regular blessing the gods there. All right, what's happening here? We don't need the crowbar. I think I'm just going to give him the ram. And I guess you're getting the crowbar, even though your strength is sucks. Oh, no. Can we give you something better? Healing poultice. I'd rather give him the amulet, amulet of life. All right, hold on a second. 
since she has the healing potus, she doesn't really need the staff of mind healing, but he doesn't really need the staff of mind healing either. Hmm. Alright, what is what does everybody have for items? Not much. I really don't have anything in my stash, really. Alright, well if I give him this, then we don't need any spell defensive spells. Although I do like the paralyze. Hmm. I guess we're taking the crowbar here. I mean I can always use it to backstab. Better than nothing. The portable ram is a is an upgrade. So all right, I guess that's I guess that's that's our lot in life. Uh, we gotta discard stuff. We'll get rid of the. Oh man, we gotta get rid of a lot of stuff. That, 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 that. Uh, quarter staff plus one. I kind of want to keep that. I'll get rid of this, 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 this. All these things. It's getting hard to decide what we want to get rid of. Alright. There we go. And that is everything. So we've completed everything. And next time we'll be visiting the Coat Exposed. Alright guys, that'll be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon.